What's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be making a streetwear statue t-shirt inside of Photoshop. Now, these t-shirts are literally everywhere at the moment. They're so popular. They're all over my Facebook for some reason. I literally have a couple myself. So I thought I'd make up my own design and show you guys how to make it yourselves. In case you want to design merch or you want to start your own clothing line, this is going to really help you out. Consider subscribing if you like what you see and let's get into it. Okay guys, so you're going to want to start by importing a statue picture into Photoshop. The canvas size we're using is on the screen now and we're going to start by removing the background. You can do this with whichever method you like. I'm going to use the pen tool as I haven't used it in a while and I just kind of miss it, you know. Cutting things out of the pen tool is really boring, so I'll probably speed this bit up. Enjoy some copyright free music, and I'll catch you in a moment once I've gone round our boy's head here. Well, that took forever, but we're almost done. It's important to take your time cutting things out properly because it will bite you in the ass if you rush it. So take your time and lay a solid foundation to your artwork. Now I'm going to right click and select make a selection, then hit OK. From here, we can click the layer mask button in the layers panel. This will remove the background non-destructively, so we can literally bring back any parts we've just removed if needed. So our boy here is looking sharp now, and if we were feeling edgy, we could just put this on a t-shirt but as we're learning merch design, let's do some more cool stuff. I found this cool fire image from God knows where to use as a background, and I'm going to apply a gradient map with a clipping mask so it only affects the fire and find a nice blue gradient. Once that's done, we're going to come back to the statue head, convert it to a smart object, and head up to filter and filter gallery to apply some effects. We're looking for a rough, grungy look, and torn edges and grain are a perfect combo to make that happen. Remember to clip the levels layer to the statue by clicking in between them and holding Alt so it only affects the statue layer. Okay, our statue head is looking tasty. Now we're going to add a new layer above the levels adjustment and we're going to make the eyes glow by selecting a white brush and painting over them. Remember to clip the new layer to the levels layer below. Now we're going to add another new layer between the glowing eyes layer and the levels adjustment layer. The reason it's going in between is because this layer is for a grunge brush and I don't want it to affect the glowing eyes. I'm just going to rename them to save confusion, which is a good habit to have by the way, I just never do it. Now I'm going to hunt through my brushes to find a grunge brush I want to use. So I had a few attempts there and nothing was really working for me. So I'm just going to adjust the angle of the brush and try again. Okay, now we're in business. This guy is looking saucy. But there's one other thing I want to do to him and that's add a gradient map to give him a faint hint of blue rather than the gray he is now. Remember to clip it so it only affects our boy and I'm just gonna find a gradient I like. So 
So the gradient is obviously pretty extreme at the moment. If we change the blend mode to soft light and lower the opacity, we can find a nice balance. Now it's time to add text to the design. The font I'm using is the last Reverock, Reverock, Reverock. I don't know, I can't read. It looks cool though, so that's all that matters. Next, we're going to right click and select warp and add a nice curve to the bottom of the text. So right now I'm kind of eyeballing the position of the text and using Photoshop guides as a reference because the statue head is slightly on the side which is making the text look a little bit off to me. If you find yourself in a similar situation just trust your eyes because sometimes the Photoshop guides will lie to you if the position of the original image isn't quite centre or the shape isn't symmetrical. Next we're going to grunge up this text using the displacement filter. You're firstly going to want to find a high quality grunge texture and load it into Photoshop. You're then gonna to want to save it as a PSD. I've already saved this one, so I'm not going to do it again. Just save it somewhere you remember. Now we're going to head up to Filter, Distort, and then Displace. Convert the text to a smart object and then fiddle around with these settings. I'm going to bring up the horizontal and vertical scale to 15 and leave the rest of the settings as they are. Now a new window will open and we're going to select that texture that we just saved a moment ago. As you can see, the text has now been displaced using the grunge texture, which makes a very cool effect. Let me know down in the comments if you're interested in seeing a full tutorial on displacement maps. Last but not least, we're going to add a date to the design because it's a streetwear t-shirt and it has to have a date on it somewhere or it would just be a regular t-shirt. For this text, I'm going to remove the fill and add a stroke, which is going to give us that outline look. Next, I'm going to make a duplicate of the date and position it above the original to build that stacked look. From here, I'm going to use the rectangular marquee tool to make a selection around the original date, making sure to leave space at the top, inverse the selection and apply a layer mask. This is going to create that stacked look to the text. I'm then going to repeat this for the bottom half. All right guys, we are done. Now it's time for the best bit, which is seeing how it looks mocked up on a t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you found the video helpful, please remember to like the video and consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Take care and I'll catch you next time.